Hey everybody, Pastor Stan again, going to bring you in some more teaching from the Word of God. This time, Parable of the Lost Sheep. Parable of the Lost Sheep. We're going to talk about that today. And as always, like and subscribe. Remember, we're here to teach you how to live the best life possible. And for someone out there, this is going to speak exactly to you. Let's take a look at it. Luke chapter 15, verse 1 and following. Luke says, Tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. This made the Pharisees and teachers of religious law complain that he was associating with such sinful people, even eating with them. Oh no! So Jesus told them this story. He said, If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Won't he leave the 99 others in the wilderness and go and search for the one who is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he will joyfully carry it home on his shoulders. When he arrives, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous in heaven straight away. Now this parable is very important because it talks about God's great love. Great love. In the beginning of this, Luke is talking about those who come to hear Jesus teach. Now, you would think, well, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you know, he's going to be in some big palace, you know, wearing the fine garments, only talking with, you know, the highest of society. Not the case. Jesus came to call the lost to salvation. And that's why it says tax collectors, those who work for the IRS, right, the tax man and woman, and other notorious sinners often came to listen to te Jesus teach. Notorious sinners. Who might they be? Right? Well, they're notorious sinners. So they make, you know, sinning. They're like professional sinners. They came to hear Jesus teach. Yes. And of course, this made the religious crowd, the Pharisees and and all those uh, high mucky mucks up the chain who think they're just awesome and like everybody's supposed to listen to them, very upset. He's even eaten with those people. If you can imagine them saying that, well, I certainly can. But this is who Jesus came to call. And you, my friend, who are out there, you may be a part of that notorious sinner group. I know, right? That's right. Well, I was a notorious sinner there, so you're in good company. But here's the thing about Jesus. Here's the thing about God. He goes out and looks for you. He goes out and looks for you. He's looking for you right now. That's why you're listening to this video. He is searching for you, calling you to repent, calling you to turn away from the sin and calling you to turn to Him. And He is ready to forgive you anytime. A lot of times folks will be a part of a church group. They'll be a part and through divorce or other things happen in their life. They'll, they'll stray away. They'll think God could never forgive me. Sometimes somebody will, will have an affair, right, or something like that, and they'll think, oh, God could never forgive me. Or they might commit a crime and go to prison. Oh, God could never forgive me. That's the lie of the enemy, the devil. Of course he says that, but not God. God doesn't say that. God says no. God says that he's out searching for you. He's out searching for that person, that notorious sinner who thinks they are worthless and God would never accept them. Not true. God is out searching for that person. And when God finds you and you turn your heart towards God, guess what? More rejoicing in heaven over one lost sinner who repents, turns away from evil and sin, than 99 others who haven't strayed away. More joy over you. More joy over the one who turns to God than all those who haven't strayed. God is out there searching for you. And when God finds you, and when your heart is pointed towards God, God does all the work, my friend. You don't have to, oh, now i got to give up this, and i got to do this, and i got to do that. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is give your heart to Jesus. Talk to Him and say, I give you my heart. I give you my whole self, such as I am. I give myself to you. The Lord does the work. The Lord is the one who forgives your sins. The Lord is the one who places His Holy Spirit within you. The Lord is the one who gives you a new life. Imagine, imagine living a new life. Straight away, live the old life, terrible, 
but turn back to God, new life. God does a miracle, my friend. He does a miracle. He forgives everything you ever did wrong and everything you ever will do wrong. He forgives all. He loves you in spite of everything that we've done or all the things we'll do. He loves us that much. He is searching for you just like this lost sheep. And when he finds the lost sheep, when he finds you, my friend, he will hoist you up high and rejoice and tell everybody about it. And there's going to be a lot of joy in heaven. So if that's you today, know that you can turn your heart over to God and no longer be lost, but be found. He's searching for you, my friend. Turn to him and he will help. All right, my friends, good to see you on the Pastor Stan YouTube channel. Talk to you next time. Hope you have a blessed week. Bye-bye. All right, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed the teaching on the, the lost sheep out there today. If that's you, praise be to God. If you want to learn more about how to live the Christian life and get started, watch this video and this video, and they'll put you on the right track. And uh, see you next time. Remember, like and subscribe.